know me, my name is Shanae, and I'm from the United States. Um, I live in California, and I am glad to be here. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's really about it. Um, Emmanuel, uh, can yes. you let everyone know where you're from and a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm from Brazil, um, but I'm living in Denmark right now in Copenhagen. Yeah, um, and I'm here for about two weeks, I think. Very and cool. I don't know, I'm not so good to talk about myself. No, no that's perfect. No, that's great. So you yeah. you live in Denmark. Um, are yes. you studying or for work? Um, oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Married, yeah. Married. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was living in Mozambique before. Oh, wow. Very cool. You've been all yeah. over then. Been all over. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> good, good. Welcome to class. Nice to meet you. Thanks. And, um, hi Orlando, how are you? Hi, fine. Good. Thanks. Good, good. Um, I'm going to put you on mute for just a second. There might be some noise coming back, um, back from there. Um, Lucas, where are you from? Are you there, Lucas? I'm from Colombia, but now I'm in New York. Where are you at? Now I am in New York. In New York? Yes. New York. Very nice. Okay. All right. And um, are you a student? Yes, I'm a student in English. Very nice, very cool. And um, Luciana. Yes, I'm from Peru and I study at the university. And what are you studying, Luciana? International business. International business, very good. And is it uh, for Khan? Yes. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, I'm from Turkey and I've just studied, I just started uh, university. And to electrical engineering. Electrical engineering, very good, very good. And Oliver. Yeah, um, I'm Oliver from Chile. Um, I have uh, some experience in Colingon. Uh, socially, I'm always glad to be here. Yes, absolutely. And um, Orlando, would you like to take yourself off of mute and let us know where you're from? Oh, I think you're on you're on mute, Orlando. So on the bottom um, where you see your picture, there will be a red microphone. Click on that, and it'll unmute you. Hi, I am hey. Brazil. You're from Brazil? Yes, Brazil. Very nice. And are you a student or do you work or? Just work, I just work. Very nice. For now. Very good. And Servet? Yes, I'm Servet. I'm from Turkey. I'm 23 years old. I pursue my education on Kolingo now. Um, good class, everybody. All right, awesome. And Sofian. Hi, everybody. My name is Sofian. I'm uh, from Algeria and I'm a high school student. Very nice. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, we're going to do some vocabulary in context today, which means we're going to be um, reading to figure out the meanings of some of these words. And um, so it's an intermediate class. So um, let's go ahead and get started by me asking, um, who knows what virtual reality is? Games. Um, yeah, like games, like it's like The Sims. Mhm. Mm yeah, they can they can be games. So um, that's kind of what we're going to be um, learning about today. But we're going to be be learning about how virtual reality is um, playing a little bit of a different role other than just games um, in the world. 
So I'm going to go ahead and share screen share with you guys. Is this big enough, or does it need to be one bigger? No, I think it's okay. It's okay? Okay. So, um, the people in this picture, are they playing a game? They uh, are doing a surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're performing a surgery, but if you look closely, is that a person? Is that a real person? No, it's a doll. Right, a doll. exactly. So, um... This is kind of what I'm talking about, where we're going to be learning about virtual re virtual reality in a different kind of sense. So we have oh, Orlando. I'm going to mute you again real quick. That's awesome music. It sounds like it's from a movie, but I can't think of which one. Um, the one okay. This list on the right hand side. Can I get a volunteer to read those words for me? Yes. Sure, go for it. Observed, ancient, <laughs> attractive, destroy, likely, model, mostly, operation, perform, spot, swallow, vehicle. Okay, so these are some of the words that we're going to be looking at today. Um, some of them um, have multiple meanings, and we're going to use the context of a story to figure out what how they're using the, the words. So, let's see. Can I get Emmanuel, can you read the first paragraph for us? Okay. Um, and the title as well, I'm sorry, in the title. Okay. Virtual reality, a powerful tool. Many people think of real, uh, Virtual reality as a toy. However, uh, too many professionals today, we are, it's not a game. Virtual reality is not a game. It is one of their most important tools. In fact, VR has become as important to some professional as a stethoscope is to a doctor or scissors or to a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so um, we're talking about virtual reality here and how it is important for professionals today. Um, they mention a word, a stethoscope. What is a stethoscope? There's something like necklace put, uh, the doctors put there on neck. That what does it do? To hear that. Yeah, just in the heart. Yeah, a heartbeat and what else? Organ uh, the, sounds. Like uh -huh. lung. Yeah, like your the lungs. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good, exactly. Yeah, so, and then um, it mentions another profession. What's the other profession it mentions? Hairdresser. Mm -hmm. And what's a really important tool for a hairdresser to have? Scissors. Scissors. Okay. okay. Um, Lucas, can you read the next paragraph for me? Yes, but it's small. Is it too small? Okay, let me make it bigger. Is that better? Or one more? It's okay. Okay. Let's start with how doctors use VR. VR is used in many ways in medicine. With on one VR tool, doctors can practice difficult operations before they perform them on real people. For example, in 2001, doctors in Singapore used a VR tool to plan a very complex and dangerous operation. Twin baby girls were born with their heads joined together. The doctors operate to uh, separate them. The operation was a success, mostly because the doctors were able to perform the operation virtually before they tried, tried it on their real patients. Good, yeah, okay. So, um, the term to operate or operations, it's being used how in this context? 
what are we talking about when we're talking about Make a surgery. Surgery yeah, treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about surgery. Can you think of another way you could use the word operations? Mom. Uh, Military. Maybe, maybe to catch guilty persons. Uh, Some type of word. people. Police make operations. Police make op okay. Police or military have operations to take out bad guys. Mm -hmm. so to do surgery. to do something. Yeah, it's a yeah a plan a plan to do something. Can you think of any other ways you could use the word operations? No. In math. <laughs> math, yeah, math has operations. Yeah, I think I heard that before. Um, what about in business? What about in business? The, the, the result. Say that again. Result. R result? Um, result. Not, not really. Um, it, Renee said the, mo the movements of a company. Sometimes we'll say the day to day operations. Day to day operations. So that means like what a company does on a daily basis. Those are the operations of the company. That's how the company is run. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, and the word perform. Like daily routines, you mean day, day yes, to day daily, operations? Yes, exactly. Daily routines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And perform, is this perform like you go out on a stage and perform? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not like no. that. No. What is, how, do, how are they using perform in this context? To apply? To do? Yes. Yes, exactly. To do or to apply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And what about this idea of mostly? It says the operation was a success mostly because. What does that mean? Not always. Major part? Yes, that it was a major part. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That the doctor's ability to do this VR or virtual reality was a major part of why they were successful. Are there any other um, vocabulary or comprehension questions you guys have about what we've read so far? No. Um, Luciana, can I get you to read the third paragraph for me? Okay. Uh, another many medical use of VR is to help patients control their pain. One VR program is especially helpful for more with serious burns. It helps patients escape from their pain for a while. They go on exciting adventures such as deep sea dive, a trip to the moon, or a Using the program was like a watching movie. One burned teenager said, I got totally absorbed in my virtual world and forgot about the pain. Okay. So, nice. how is this virtual reality being used? It's not so that doctors can practice difficult surgeries. What is What are they using virtual reality for in this context? To help patients for distraction. Mm -hmm, to help them control their pain. And how do they do that? Distraction. Placebo. <clears throat> distraction. Distraction. Yeah, it's a distraction. So kind of like we were talking about when you play virtual reality games, that's exactly what these patients are doing, right? I mean, they're, they're playing games where they get to... You know, I'm. Sh Has anybody ever? Let me come back here. Has anybody ever been to like an amusement park? Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever um? Those. No. Have you ever been in in one of those virtual reality ones where like you sit in the chair and the chair moves and you feel like you're. Sensation. Yeah, you're, it feels like you're right there. No. I got in a rally car simulation. Yeah, Neuro it, tricks. yeah, yeah, exactly. So I have a feeling that's kind of what this virtual reality for these patients is like. I'm not sure. Do you have a different idea about what it might be like? No. No? 
<laughs> I, I remember one specific one. Um, they used to have these um, at the Excalibur in Las Vegas. My family used to go to Las Vegas a lot. And I was too young. I wasn't old enough to, to gamble. So I would spend a lot of time in the arcade and um, probably spent just as much money as my parents um, <laughs> at the arcade. But um, they used to have this like virtual reality like roller coaster where you know it was just a screen like watching a movie but you were in this chair that moved and made you feel like you were actually on this roller coaster. I used to think that was the coolest thing ever. I thought that was awesome. So I think that that's what they're talking about here. What about this word absorbed? I got totally absorbed in my virtual world. What does that mean? What does that mean? Something. Got Is really into something. Say that one more time. Get really into something. Get really into something. Yes, exactly. Focus. Yeah, focus. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. To be inside. To be inside something. Yeah, exactly. When you get like totally absorbed in a book or a or a all, movie. All the the impulses, like the eyes, ears, like feeling, like touch, like all the attention. Came to the to that rea virtual reality, like he was absorbed in all the senses. Yes, exactly. Yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect, exactly. That happens to me when I read a lot. I totally, I don't even realize anything is around me. Um, Burkun, can you read the next paragraph for me? Yes. We are also as important users in the business world. Several European automakers, including the makers of Jaguar, Formula One racing cars, use VR to design their vehicles. Mercedes-Benz uses its VR center in Stuttgart, Germany, both to design and to crash test vehicles. Results from these virtual crashes are 98% accurate. The virtual testing saves money because no vehicles are destroyed. Also, the computer shows what happens to each part of the vehicle. The computer can spot many things that testers might not see in the in a real crash test. Good. Okay, so the word vehicles. What kind of vehicles are we talking about here? Cars. 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 Racing cars. Yeah, racing cars. Mm -hmm. As well as um, Mercedes Benz, which I, I know that they do racing, but also their, their regular um, consumer vehicles. Um, why do why does why do these businesses use virtual reality? To save money. To save to money. Test something. To test. To see how yes. uh, how secure their how secure is their car. Mm -hmm, how safe the car is. Mm -hmm. and, yep. and they can see uh, some some things that they cannot see in a real crash. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The computer that exactly that brings me to spot. The computer can spot many things. What's a synonym for spot in this this instant? Pinpoint. Identify. Uh huh. Identify. Pinpoint. Or just a more common word. The computer can see many things that testers might not see. Mm hmm. Yeah. So this isn't like a spot on your shirt. <laughs> Oliver, are you there? I'm here, yeah. Oliver, can you read the next paragraph for me? Uh, sorry, but start with um, with virtual reality, line 43. It's also very useful for architects? Yes. Yeah. VR is also very useful for architects. They used to they use it to create virtual model homes by bringing the floor plans to life. Buyers get a better understanding of what it would be like to actually live in this house, says Mike Chelsea Hochberg. President and CEO of Spectrum Skanska, a company that designs and builds homes. So virtual tools are much cheaper to make than real model homes, 
Huckleberry calls the VR tools our single most important marketing tool. Yeah, very good. So what does an architect do? Design yeah. homes. Designs yeah. 3D homes. Yeah, and design homes. Uh, um, computers. Projects. Do they yeah. just do architects just design homes though? No, no. They can design Make projects too. A lot of different types of constructions. Yes, exactly. Any type of, of building or, or uh, construction, an architect is, is could, responsible could be, for designing. Could be bridge, tone. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, for example, the, the Sydney Opera House, I have no idea who, who the architect was for that, but you know that's that's not a that's not a home where people live. Um, you know it's a very famous building, but you know people get famous for different types of architects get famous for for brilliant pieces of architecture like that. So what is a what is a virtual model home? Uh, a model um, in in three D. Example. A home designed um, by computer. Okay, it's a home designed on the computer. A, a construction design in the computer, I guess, in in the three dimensions. So you mm -hmm. can see all the views, and maybe you can travel into it. Yes. Virtually. Yes, exactly. So this word model is this like somebody who walks down the catwalk, like Cindy Crawford yeah. or Giselle Bunchen? Yeah. What kind of model is this? When a they're 3D, talking about a model, a three D model, the home, the house, like something that you made with a CAD program. Okay, okay. So yeah. it's an it's an example, example, right? Yeah, it's an example, example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this this type of model is an example of a construction versus um, a model. That walks down a runway, uh, modeling clothes. Two different, two different kinds of models. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Why do architects like virtual reality? Because they chose in a very effective way the looks to their customers. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, much cheaper uh, to make uh, than a real model homes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's much cheaper to make than a real model home. Yeah, absolutely. It says that the virtual tours are the single most important marketing tool. What does he mean by that? Mm -hmm. What does he mean by that the virtual reality tools are our single most important marketing tool? That they use the tools a lot to get the the customer make the contract. Good, yeah, exactly, exactly. I um, think it's because they they explore the most important thing about what the 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 people want to buy, want to see, want to experience. They want to see before the the house. It's made like they want to have an idea about, uh, and don't need to go there to move and lose time. Like time is money, or yeah, yeah, you know, time many, is money. many, many reasons. I think. Yeah. No. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And the, and yeah. Exactly. Like time. I mean, how it's going to take a lot more time to build a model home than it is to just design it on a computer and, and be able to see it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Orlando, can I have you read um, the next paragraph for me? Yes, sure. Scientists use VR in a variety of ways. Meteorologists, scientists who study weather and the climate use VR to enter hurricanes. Shermits and the drug designers use VR to look at the shape of complex molecules and build. Yeah. Uh, build. So, yeah. new ones. Paleontologists, 
science. Scientists who study ancient forms of life, such as dinosaurs, use VR to travel back in the time. Entomologists, scientists who study insects, use VR to create life-size models of creatures such as grass shoppers. Grass you can uh -huh. you, shoppers. you can use even get shoulded. 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 By a grasshopper and find yourself when it's abdomen. Says etymology Alexi A. Sharov. Good. Yeah. Okay. So this good job. This this paragraph has a lot of like really big words. So um. Let's do so, a little bit of pronunciation real quick. So we have meteorologist. 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 Yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful. Yeah, meteorologist. 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 Yeah. Me meteoro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meteorologist. Yeah. Meteorologist. There you go. Good job. All right, and we have chemists. Chemists. Chemist. But chemist. it's not easier if you just said the guy looked the weather. Yeah, the weather guy. I know. <laughs> the I weather know. guy is better. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, we have paleontologists. 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 Yeah, good. This is easier. Yeah, that one's easier. And entomologist. 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 Mm -hmm. And meteorologist. Right. <laughs> meteorologist. <laughs> meteorologist. <laughs> there, there. Good job. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, why do meteorologists use virtual reality? Hmm. To enter our games. To anticipate, trying to anticipate things like the the imagine the weather, like yeah, to forecast to forecast the weather. We call that forecasting weather. Forecasting. Yeah, weather. Wow, weather forecasting. There we go, weather forecasting. Um, mm -hmm. and they say that they enter hurricanes. So, um, does everybody know what a hurricane is? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. So, um, they actually are able to go inside a hurricane with virtual reality and see what's going on. So, um, why do chemists and drug designers use virtual reality? Look at the shape uh, of the complex molecules. And build the new ones. Mm -hmm. And if they're able to look at molecules and build new ones, what does that help them do? To help to design new medicines, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Help to design new drugs and medicines, exactly. And what about paleontologists? Why do they use? We study reality. ancient forms of life. Uh huh. To, to take create a project of uh, dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. So they can actually like create. Um, extinct. Recreate. Ex yeah, or recreate um, extinct animals. Mm hmm. And entomologists. The same as uh, insects. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, insects. Okay. Yeah, and it says that they create life-size models. So this lady says you can even get swallowed by a grasshopper. What does that mean? It means that you are dead by eating. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh-huh. Um, yeah, it means that you can be eaten, right? You can be eaten, swallowed by the grass. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's fake, right? So yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's it's used um, so that they can, you know, create it, and you know, people can come in and get swallowed by it and go inside the am abdomen of a grasshopper. And but why they'd want to do that, that I'm, I'm not sure. But but um, if you absorb, it say that again. <laughs> don't try to do this in the, your home. Say that again, Oliver. 
don't try to do this in your home. Yeah, don't try this at home. Exactly. Don't try this at home. Has anybody ever seen the um, movie The Fly or The Fly? That's what it's yeah, called. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's so weird. A, a normal movie. The Jeff, Fly. Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, yeah. Is, this, yeah, Jeff is Goldblum. the one they use small uh, spheres to no, no. put inside no, the mirror no, king? It's, it's a scientist no. that made a teletransport system and they get into with a fly. So when uh, they, they, they mix the teleport, they have mixed it. The, it's a very old movie. Yes, yeah, it's a very old movie. Fly. Yeah, it's yeah, like a from like the, 80, like the 80s, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a good one. It's really yeah. sad. It gets, it's, I think the end is really sad, but hi, Miguel. Hi, Miguel. So, um, yeah, it's a good movie, though. But that's kind of, I don't know, to me, that's kind of a virtual reality gone bad, right? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> not what you would want to happen. Um, serve it. Can I get yes. you to read the next paragraph for me? Okay. Now you've seen how doctors and other professionals use VR to do some very important works. But VR is also used for less serious purposes. For example, people in the beauty industry use VR programs to some hairdressers use VR programs to make a digital copy of clients' heads from a photograph. They can then show clients what they will look like with a different hairstyle or color. Dentists can use VR to show people what they will look like with, with a more attractive smile. VR mm -hmm. gives these dentists and hair, hairdressers and Hairdress a significant edge over business that don't have VR. Yeah, good. So I, um, I have to admit, I actually have done this before, because um, they have these programs like even online and whatnot, where um, it's it will virtually show you with like a new hairstyle. And I've, <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you this. I've done and, that. Have you done <laughs> it too? <Okay. laughs> Yeah, I think it's it's a girl thing, obviously. But, you know, I've, I have long hair, and I always wanted to know what I would look like with short hair. And um, needless to say, I still have long hair. So um, VR can be helpful with, for hairdressers. And then um, why do dentists use it? Dentists. Why do dentists use it? You know, uh, they, they change your... They change... Uh, the looking of your mm -hmm. uh, teeth yes, exactly. make them look better. Yeah, so if and your teeth, if you have crooked teeth or um, maybe you're missing um, teeth in the back. My husband had to have like three teeth pulled so when he smiles you can see it. So they'll use virtual reality to show him like what it'll look like when he has, a, has his bridge in. And, yeah, so it's helpful. It's definitely helpful. Um, you said correct teeth. Can you type? Correct teeth? Correct. Oh, cr oh have... crooked. Crooked. Crooked teeth. I'll type it, yeah. Crooked teeth. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Thank and you. then if, um, I'll give you a couple. If, if your teeth are like, um, really, if your top teeth are really far ahead of uh -huh. your bottom teeth, like we, call that a, we call that an overbite. An uh -huh. overbite. And then if you have your top teeth are like behind mm -hmm. your yes. bottom teeth that's called what do you think it's called less bite under bite underbite it's called an underbite mm -hmm. an underbite mm. so yeah yeah so i i had braces for 7 years because i had an underbite my top mm. teeth were behind my bottom teeth yeah. it worked had it worked very well it did work really good. My bottom yeah. ones are crooked again because I didn't wear my retainer. No, you have so, very, yeah. very good this one. <laughs> Thank you. So let's, um, Sofiane, can you read this last paragraph for us? Okay. Of course, none of these uh, VR programs is cheap. However, as more and more people begin to use VR, prices are likely to come down. And for many professionals, the expense is small when compared to the benefits. The popularity of VR both a story and two makes it clear. That's uh, 
that is uh, here to stay in the future. We might be spending more time working and playing in the virtual world than uh, we do in the real one. Yeah, good. So, um, anybody disagree with that? No. Yeah, I don't either. Okay. Um, um, so let's I, go ahead. I do uh, disagree. I, I, I just think sometimes that maybe that is not so good. I agree. Why do you think it's not so good, Oliver? But you have to need some exercise in your life to to get to keep health. Mm -hmm. And if you are all your life sitting in your car, sitting in your home, uh, playing some PlayStation game instead to real tennis, real football, real run, well, maybe hours. A human body can be, will be affected in the time by that. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree with that. And, like um, in the movie Wally. -E. Yeah, like in the movie Wally. -E. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and you know, I mean, even even now, I mean, um, does everybody know what a reunion is? Yes. A reunion. A reunion. A reunion. A reunion. Uh, maybe. Reunion? Uh, it's, yeah. it's it's where like, like if you haven't gathering. yeah it's a gathering where if you haven't seen a bunch of people in a long time you all get together. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, yes. Well, my my tenure it's been ten years since I graduated from high school, and I know I'm old, and um, <laughs> and, um, and so it's been Come ten on. years since I've been out of high school, and we were supposed to have. A high school reunion. I actually was planning it. I spent six months planning this stupid thing, <laughs> and, <laughs> and um, because of Facebook and Skype and Google Hangouts and all of that, nobody wanted to go because yeah. we all know what everybody's doing. I mean, it yeah. used to be you go to catch up with people because you haven't talked to them or seen them in a long time, but because of all the virtual world and technology that we have. Nobody so wanted to go, so it got broke canceled. Everything. <clears throat> you know, you got to go out to dinner and people are sitting there instead of talking, they're on their phones the whole time. So mm -hmm. yeah. I, I totally agree with you, Oliver. I'm shame. not I'm not I'm not sure it was a shame. It was it it really bummed a lot of us out, but not enough that people it's, wanted it's to like go. A, a part of our life is not real anymore. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. a virtual life. I agree. I agree. So let's uh, check your vocabulary. So I hope everybody, I think you guys are all pretty good uh -oh. with the, um, we're going to be filling in these sentences with words that were in bold from the article. Okay. So number one, can I have a, um, let's have Emmanuel. Emmanuel, can you do number one for me? Okay. <coughs> uh, I read the um, the first. Yes, the first sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, complete the sentences with the bold-faced words from the reading. Use the correct form of the word. Um, number one, that's the great haircut. You look very nice with that hairstyle. <laughs> 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 Does anybody remember the the vocab really? word? No, I don't. <laughs> Does anybody remember? Um, it was the very last. Oh, oh next to last one. Attractive. Attractive. Attract, yeah, attractive. attractive. Mm -hmm. Or you can use ancient also. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could use a lot of words um, in there, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with the vocab from the reading. All right. Um, number two, Lucas. Mm, cars, buses, and trucks are telephones. Save it by the wing. Vehicles. Vehicles. Yeah. Vehicles. Yes, our vehicles. Yes. Good. 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 Um, Louisiana, can you do number three? Okay. I can show you the house today because it is already for to be shown. However, I can show you the virtual home. 
Model. 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 model home, yeah, model, model home. home. It is yeah. very similar to the one that is for sale. Yes, very good, very good. And um, Firkin, can you do number four? Yes. <laughs> oh no, flash <laughs> fell in my cup and I swallowed it. <laughs> yes, good. Oh no, a fly yes. fell in my coffee and I swallowed it. Mm -hmm. Um. Who's next? Oliver, number five. I don't want another dog. My last dog. Uh, pee my furniture. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's. It. Um, no. Um, no. <laughs> no. Destroyed. 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 Yes. Destroyed. Well, it pees first and later. Right? Yeah, he pees first on the furniture. <laughs> Destroys it. Yeah. Okay. No, bad dog. Bad dog. Yes. Number six. Um, serve it. Yes. It was a long operation. The doctors work on the patients for ten hours. Yes. Very good. And um, seven. Sofian. Okay. Sadly, the doctor who performed the operation couldn't save the patients. Very good. Sadly, the doctor who performed the operation can save. It say, blah, 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 blah. the operation can save the patient. <laughs> Jeez, blah, blah, blah. Take, I know. I, it's, I can't. This, my, blah, this is my third class today, nice. and apparently I can't talk anymore. Um, and number eight, take an umbrella. It is likely. Yes, it is likely to rain later. Very good. Number nine, she was so. Absorbed. Uh, absorbed. Yeah, absorbed. she was so absorbed in her work that she did not even hear the telephone. Um, number ten. Can yeah. I get a volunteer for number ten? Ancient. 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 Yeah. Ancient Can someone read, read the whole sentence for me? We cannot know exactly how people lived in ancient times, but with virtual reality, we can experience how it probably felt to leave centuries ago. Okay. All right. And number 11. Can I? Can I? Say that again. Tonight, the, uh, the sound of the world in this case is lie or leave? I'm, the pronunciation? Yes. The pronunciation is lived. lived. It's lived. lived. And, when, uh -huh. and, when, and when you are seeing, for example, a, a, a match, it's it says light. Can you type it? Um, my chat light was because I because oh, some yeah. sometimes I I hear that pronunciation light, and another it's time I hear the pronunciation live. broadcasting. It's alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's broadcasting. Oh, oh. I, I, live. Okay, live it's still alive. and live. live. Okay, yeah. There, yeah. Okay. It depends on how you're using it. So, for example. I they're still alive. I live in California. Okay. Yeah. So I live. I live in California. Um I lived well, wait, that's not how I, never mind. Um I live live. Um well, that okay, is a wait, live wait, show. Wait, 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 yes, exactly. That's exactly what I was I'm just gonna to say. Watch. I saw a live concert. Yeah, I saw a live concert. I live in California. Um, I got it. Yeah, yeah. So. I go live with F. If you say that again. Oh, life, life. Life. That yeah, that's different. That's like um. She had a long and beautiful life. Life. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want, like, really, hold on one second. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys a resource for this. I'm really, really bad at um, explaining, um, explaining grammar. I can tell you if it's right or wrong. Very easily. 
<laughs> but um, to tell you like rules, I have a difficult time with. Um, let me get you guys this. Yeah, but, but it's okay. I got it. You got it? Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, in case somebody does want... Okay. In case you do want that, go... Let's see. I'm trying to think. We have a lot of really good grammar teachers. Daniel Watson. Go ask Daniel. I'll, <laughs> Daniel, I'm totally throwing you under the bus. If you want to know the diff, what, when you when you use live and when you use live, go ask Daniel. <laughs> so, um, all right. So let's um, let's keep doing this, guys. Um, number eleven. You asked me to see, but he's. Mm. Mm. Uh, mostly. Mostly, yes. Mostly. Very good. Yeah. Mostly, mostly. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. And number 12. Spot. Yes, spot. Can you read the whole sentence for me? We were in the forest for a long time, but we didn't spot any birds. Very good, yeah. Okay, we're not going to read it again. But um, we have, I think, I thought we had a word bank. I guess not. Okay, so let's look at um, A. Can somebody read the instructions for me? Check the uses of virtual reality that are mentioned in the reading. <clears throat> So the first one, um, virtual reality as entertainment, <coughs> was that mentioned in the reading? Yes. Yes. Um, virtual reality as a stethoscope. Yes. Yes. <coughs> yes. Mm, no. 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 That's not a use of virtual reality. They compared it to a stethoscope, but it's not a use. Um, Virtual reality to help doctors plan operations? Yes. Um, yes. Virtual reality to help the sick and elderly at home? No. 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 Um, what about virtual reality to sell things? Yes. Not really. Yes. 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 What, what were, can you give me an example of something that they would sell using virtual reality? A house. A house. Yeah, Jeez. a house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about virtual reality? Video games. In... Yeah, video games. Um, what about virtual reality in automobile safety tests? Yes. 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 Um, virtual reality to learn more about the natural yes. world? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. To learn about the past? Yes. 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 To distract people who are in pain? Yes. 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 Um, Luciana, can you read all of B for me? Okay. What is the writer's opinion of VR? Circle the letter of the correct answer. It's just used to help people, not as a toy, but most people don't understand that. It is an amazing tool and toy that will become more common in the future. It is interesting, but it won't become common anytime soon because of the expense. Okay, so out of out of those three statements, which one is the would you say is the writer's opinion? It's B. Uh, B. Writer's opinion will be B. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Um we don't have a lot of time yet and I would like to do something a <coughs> little bit fun. So I thought maybe we could play Hangman. Yes. <laughs> okay. With um, I thought we'd play Hangman with um, the vocabulary. Poor Hangman. Yeah. Yeah, with the vocab words. So. Let us go. Okay. <coughs> All right. Is that big enough? Yeah. It's 
So let me. Okay. Ooh, big one. <laughs> I believe. Yeah. All right. So these are vocab words. All the all the words I'll use are words that were in the reading. Okay. They may or may not be the ones that were in bold. They, but they will be a word that we went over in class. Can I guess? Yeah. Well, not yet. Not yet, sir. It. <laughs> not yet. So, um, let's start with Sofian. Sofian, can you guess a letter for me? V. Say that again. V. V. Yes. Yes. V. Yes. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Serve it. Yeah. Um. I. Oh. <laughs> and is it own? Is it owner? B. Is it? Did I, is that right? Owner? Did I say your name yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Under. 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 Okay. B. B. Yes. Busy. B is in busy. Yes. B is in busy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. That man is gonna die. Okay, <laughs> Oliver. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> an A. An A. An A. Yeah. Oh. Oh, poor little dog. Oh. Uh oh. And Perkin? There is no bowel in the world. Say that again. E. D. E. 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 Whoa. Caramba. Okay. Um, Luciana. R. Good one. Lucas? D? Uh, can I... Uh, can I guess the word? D? Who wants to guess? Uh, ah, no, no. destruction. Oh. What? 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 Destroy, no. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroyed. 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 Yes. Yeah. Destroyed. You almost destroyed. You almost destroyed the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's a, um, it's, a, it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Yes, I need a lot of those. I'm so far behind um, for Christmas. It's insane. Um, under or uh, let me give you a link really quick um, when it pulls up. Let me get another. Let's see. Um, Okay, I have a word. Okay. Um, let's start with Emmanuel this time. Are you there, Emmanuel? He's not here. Oh, no. Not here. Um, here's a link. If you guys want to follow me, um, since since you guys asked about that, um, if you want to follow me, you can click that link and click follow, and it'll send you messages every time I have class. So um, okay. there's a link for you. No problem. Lucas, can you guess the letter for me? Yes. Um, C. Oh. Oh. Um, for Khan. E. Yes. Always right. Who can always take the right <laughs> And Luciana? Mm, R. Say that again. 
R. <clears throat> Oliver? Oliver, Oliver. I'll come back to Oliver. Um, Under, do you want to guess? Yes, K. K. <laughs> Serve it. Yes, can I guess? Perform. Yes, good job. <laughs> nice. I need to make a harder one. Yes. All right, I'm no. gonna make a. <laughs> All right. Um, Emmanuel, <laughs> we'll start with you. Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucas? B. Uh -oh. Luciana? <coughs> M. M? M. No. <laughs> And Farkin? <laughs> Architect. Yeah! Architect. Whoa. Nice job. Uh, 5,000 points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right. Um, I, know so, I know some of you might want to go to the next class. Um, I will be back tomorrow at 11. Oh. Um, I don't know what I'm teaching tomorrow. I, I will be forget. here. So, okay, awesome, awesome, guys. Good job. Does anybody have any last minute quick questions? <coughs> Are you a movie criticizer? Say that again. Are you a movie criticizer? Me? Yes. Am I, am I a movie critic? Um, no, I'm not a movie critic. I'm. I. I like to say I'm. We have an expression say a movie buff. I'm a movie buff. Um. I like old movies. Did you know why did you notice my my class that I teach on Wednesdays? Yes. Yeah, okay. Always movies. Yeah, so yeah, breakfast at Tiffany's. I I teach an advanced an advanced class, advanced class on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um if you want to join that class on Wednesday, it's called Film and Literature and you and I don't think and everybody except for serve it's been in every single one of those classes but i don't think any of you others have if you want to join that's great um but please do the 